What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your Apple TV running firmware 5.0.2 or also known as iOS 5.1.2. Now after this jailbreak, you guys can install plugins, and just a few of them include Xbox Media Center, Apple TV Flash, or Neato TV. That's just a little bit of the many plugins you can install after you jailbreak your Apple TV. Now this will actually be a very easy guide, and all you guys will need is of course your Apple TV 2, your Apple TV remote, and a micro USB cable. On your desktop, you guys will need to download one thing, and that's either for Mac or Windows, and you guys will need to download Season Pass. You can find that in the description down below. There will be a link to my written guide, as well as all the links you need there. So let's go ahead and plug in your Apple TV into your computer. So that's a micro USB cable right into there. All right, put that aside and go ahead and run Season Pass. Okay, and iTunes might open, just minimize that, that's okay. Now in Season Pass, all we're going to want to do is click Create IPSW. And of course, depending on your internet connection, this could take a while. You're basically downloading the Apple TV firmware, and we're going to be restoring to it later in iTunes. So just give this a little moment, and I'll be right back. Now as soon as Season Pass has finished downloading and patching the firmware, what we're going to do is put our Apple TV 2 into DFU mode. So on your Apple TV remote, we're going to hold the menu and play pause button for 7 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you're going to let go. Now just wait until Season Pass recognizes your Apple TV, and it'll automatically open up iTunes, and the restore process will begin by itself. And once iTunes recognizes your Apple TV, it will take about five to ten minutes to restore, so just be patient, and once it's finished restoring, your Apple TV will be fully jailbroken. Now your Apple TV may not restore the first time, iTunes may throw an error, and if that happens, just go back into Season Pass and select Create IPSW. You'll want to unplug your Apple TV, plug it back in, put it into D few mode and the restore process will begin again and this time it should work and once you get this notice that means the jailbreak was successful your apple tv has restored and i'm going to head over to my tv and actually show you that i am running the season pass jailbreak now once you've got your apple tv set up you can basically tell it's jailbroken if you look at the settings icon and there is an fc instead of the standard icon that basically stands for firecore the people that make season pass and there you go you guys are now jailbroken on ios 5.0.2 also known as 5.1.2 on your Apple TV too. So enjoy the jailbreak guys. Enjoy the plugins you can install with this jailbreak. I'll catch you guys later on the next video. Peace.